all right new game brand new game living in skyrim i want to work a job i want to get a wife have a child eat dinner i want to smith weapons that degrade and then have to be smithed again my immersive floating above carriages mod is working who are you your mom <laughs> fucking oh shit. i think the most immersive thing that i could be is a nord because skyrim belongs to the nords i mean Oh look, you're here too, huh? Yeah. Finish and name your character. Well, what do I want to name? Oh, well, my name is CJ. So I guess that would be the most immersive name to give. I, I have a body now. Oh shit. I have a dick and ball. <gasps> give me his head. No, I can't. Wait. What in oblivion is that? Oh! I have his head! I had it for a second. I have this instead though. Here. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Can I grab your face? Oh, <laughs> I grabbed his face, but only for a second. But what is a man? What has he got? That thing is a dragon. No doubt. <laughs> Just like the children's stories and the legends. Wait. The Why are you angry? See, look at this. I'm crouched. In game. In real life. And the crouching is work and surprise weapon throw and then we can double throw these so you can be like yeah how fucking absolutely cool is that wait a second oh oh my god it can be done i am going to deliver cabbages we're gonna do why fight when you can deliver cabbages Guys, I brought the I brought the cabbage cart. <gasps> you know what I could do? I just had an idea. There's so many possibilities open up when you mod Skyrim. So many possibilities. First thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna be the what's the guy from Monty Python's? Bring out your dead. <laughs> I don't want to go on the car. Oh, W should jump, baby. Can I DJ in Skyrim? Is that a job I can have? Give me your like. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Huh? What are you going to do now, kiddo? You're a, oh, he's a ballerina. Oh, dude, I didn't know you were so flexible. Oh, is that bear shit on your foot? Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Oh, look, a hunter. This water mod is so phenomenal it's practically cr crystal clear i can see the rocks inside but oh it just looks so alive and again i would love nothing more than to be able to plunge my hands into the water and feel the cold who are you are you a new friend when if i join you here rather short for a wood elf you know what do you got going on in your life you're looking a little rough around the edge This is not a good start. If I am to join civilization for real, I need to rein it in. I need to pull it together. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there is a kind old woman in this area. This woman is sisters with a Hargraven, one of those Hargraven witches. If you kill her or rob from her, then her sister will send a bounty. A fucking Hargraven witch will hire thugs to come beat the shit out of you. Oh my god. Dude, this soup looks really fucking... Soup looks really good. Ooh, yummy soup. Let's, uh... There you go. Nice. Oh, she's. I gotta, I gotta end you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not. I didn't mean to actually commit a violent act. I just wanted to ring the pot. I wanted to, to dong the pot. You know? I'm so sorry. I'm gonna miss you so much, my love. And I know you never accepted my love and you asked me to leave and not stop touching you, but I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, I'm gonna miss you so much. All right. Oh my God. 
Can I secure dinner for the village tonight? Oh, right. Maybe this new village will accept me if I come bearing uh, gifts of, of animal. Let's drag you to shore. Okay. And then we will we'll cut you up. All right, get our meat and arrows back. Very cool. <gasps> Devlin, Devlin, come here. I found a dog in the game. I can pet the dog, which means I can pet you. Come here. Come here, Bubba. I'm immersively petting. I'm immer okay, now the other one. There's only one dog here. I can't pet both of you. And now he's left, so you guys have to fuck off now, okay? I mean, you are just so selfless. A selfless queen. We love that. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go to the trader in the morning. It is getting late, isn't it? I'm going to share the bed with your wife since you seem comfortable over there. So, yeah, come on, Gerd. I think it's time for bed. I'm just going to grab. I'm grabbing bread. I'm going to take this in game day and kind of just relax, get my bearings. I do need a job um, and she seems to want to eat with me so i'm gonna i'm gonna sit here and riz up girder some more um let me get my chair in real life see this feels cool i'm sitting in the game sitting in real life a cup of uh, a glass of wine at nine in the morning are you interested in some wine my lady yeah i gotta walk in the rain to white run that fucking sucks man Man, it is getting bad out there. Oh. Can this target? It sure can. It can target the rabbit. Sorry, bro. Wait, is it clearing up? Don't tell me the rain's clearing up. Right as I'm about to get to shelter. It's clearing up. Oh my god, that's so fucking cool. Immersive weathers. Yeah, so fast travel rations. Really cool mod. I have to use those to fast travel. It's just adds to the immersion. One doesn't just get to stand up and walk across Skyrim willy nilly one day. I just I did a lot of stuff to make this as immersive as possible. So, OK, so let's talk a little bit about the immersive smithing while we're over here, while we're near the smithy. OK, so we pick up the ingot, put it in the forge. <gasps> Let the forge melt. Take our war axe. Okay. Oh, that's working. Okay. Okay, cool. Keep your hands to yourself. Okay, that's enough. Your weapon is really starting to take shape. You now need to cool it, so take your weapon and plunge it into the nearby water trough. Keep it held under the water until you see steam rise from the trough. <gasps> oh my god. Press and take a seat. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. I mean, I don't care that it takes 15 minutes to sharpen one fucking weapon. This is the coolest shit I've ever seen, man. Is it done? All right, great. That looks sharp enough to split a skeever in two. Holy shit, that was so cool, man. That was one of the coolest things I've ever done in VR. And it's a fucking mod. And Bethesda, one of the biggest software publishers in the entire fucking world, released this game and did not put that in the game. That is bullshit. They cannot always rely on unpaid modders to put this kind of content in their games, okay? I mean, even if we were given Skyrim VR two years after when it was released, and I think it was released in like 2017, something like that. Even if we didn't get it till 2019, that two years of development that it would have gone through would have been worth the wait so that you can add in the physics you can add that in so you can add this in i mean adding all of that in is worth waiting 
but porting this game over the way that they did is absolutely you know, unfucking acceptable. Shout out to right here. Here, right here's the mod author. Shout out to you, bro. Good job. Okay. Oh, it looks beautiful in here. Nice. Yeah. By Ismir, Irileth was right. Well, maybe what you should you fucking listen now, to her more. I could use someone I don't. to fetch something for me. Dragon well, shit? You need me to go get a pile of I dragon really shit? I can do that as long as there's no dragon near it. So again, I need to make some money and I want to work a real job, um, but it's getting late. So I don't live here. I'm not going to sleep on the fucking street. So I'm going to go get a seat at the end. I'm actually getting thirsty in real life. So what I'll do, I'll get a room. I'll get a drink in the game and I'll have a drink with the denizens of Whiterun before I go and stay in my room and sleep and uh let me know if you want anything <laughs> yeah got a clean mug around here somewhere uh that's that doesn't instill much confidence a jug of milk <laughs> dude if i drink that in this bar in front of all these people they're gonna call me a fucking milk drinker okay so what i'll do i will pause this drink in real life So I'm just gonna drink my milk in peace. Hopefully nobody's looking. I am a little embarrassed. Okay, there's no need to be mean people. Okay, but the farmers out here, they should need help picking their crop and they'll pay me to help them pick up food. Yes, this is what I was looking for. Okay, so Alficht Bethelborn Bethelborn Is that how I, Am I saying that right to our Swedish fans that don't exist? Leak 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 Okay, well that's everything for this farm <gasps> I have wheat to sell honest pay for honest work. I have gourds honest to sell pay for honest work. How much did I get? Oh, five dollars? What the fuck? Honest I have leaks to sell honest work. Back to work then. <laughs> Money, people, it worked. I made a dollar. Well, I made like a hundred bucks. And now I could pay for that carriage ride to get back to Riften. Oof. At least I could do is bend over to get them. Make it really feel like I'm working. Never should have come here. Who are you? Who are you? Oh. <laughs> Her sister will hire thugs to come beat the shit out of you. you won't be He's gonna kill me. I'm dying. Guards, help me, please. Somebody help me. I can't defeat this man. He's too strong. So cool. We're routed. Fall back. <sighs> so here's what's crazy. The axe is cool. The shield and my armor are kind of beat up. Uh, you can see the durability. I broke his shield during that fight. And that was just, that was too cool. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll just get, I'll get back to work. Okay, oh, more potatoes. Oh. All right, I've got some stuff to sell. There's a nip in the air. I know. Honest bay for honest work. Yes, sir. 12, 12, okay, knife cabbage. Bay for honest work. Let's go. Ooh, they paid, he paid two gold per cabbage. So when those uh, respawn, I can come back and I can do some more. Okay, beautiful. My first official job that I've worked as a denizen of Skyrim. And uh, yeah, we made a little bit of money here. 402 gold. Guys, we are slowly 
but surely making a name for ourselves here. So this is the part that I'm excited to show everybody. This is the fucking carriages, man. It's a little wacky. There's something about be seated that doesn't work with the carriages for some reason. So I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. With touring carriages, you can pay for a carriage to take you to your destination and you can sit in the carriage on the way there and they'll literally drive you there on the roads. I can take okay. You to Where do you want to go? So I actually need to go to Falkreath because that, that'll take me to Whiterun or Riverwood. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see. It's, it's, this mod is cool because I get, oh my fucking god. Look at that monstrosity. Actually, we have to talk to him and tell him to. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? See, look at this. I want to stop at Riverwood. Just sit back. This won't take long. Okay. Look at that. All right. And then I can literally sit here. Oh, you just ran over a guard, but they give you, he gives you lore discussions. He just told me about Haunting Brew and Blackbriars not being friends. And he's right, there is, there's bad blood between them, you know? Uh, they are competitive brewing companies in the free market of Skyrim. Look at that, look at how beautiful that is. I'm in a fucking carriage riding across a bridge with gorgeous waters. My hands stretched out like Mr. Fantastic, but uh, ee, <laughs> that's so weird. I don't like that. All right, so there's something I want to do real quick. I need an axe to chop wood. I need a woodcutter's axe. <gasps> a woodcutter's axe. This is what I needed. So that's what I initially came in here for. Let's get to work. So today we chop wood. I do have an immersive wood chopping mod downloaded. All right. There it is, one piece of firewood. Then we can sell that firewood to somebody. Let's, oh, let's pick that up. Oh, I forgot I can put this in my pack. Look at this immersive wood gathering. Oh my God. You see, okay, let's find another tree. This one looks like a good tree. Nice bit of thistle here. Okay. All right, back to wood cutting. All right. How much are we carrying? Um, we can still, we can carry more. I mean, what time is it? I've only been working for a few hours, man. Nothing would make me happier than if these trees actually fell and just left logs. Logs that you had to hit with this to then turn it into firewood and pick up. That would be really cool. How am I doing on weight? Can't carry anymore. Okay. All right, let's go sell our firewood. Honest gold for honest work. Of course. Ooh, 200 bucks, dude. Let's fucking go. I can make a living selling wood. Let's go, dude. That is so cool. There is nothing cooler than for it to be pouring rain outside. And then we can hear it in here. We can hear the rain going. It's so fucking cool, man. Where is she? Where's Delphine? Out. She owns the place. She does what she wants. No, that's true. Inn's closed. Bar's still open, though. Feel free what? to sit and put your head down on the table for as long as you like. I guess what happens... During this part of the story, the retrieval of the Dragonstone, Delphine is in Whiterun right now. So they've closed the inn because she can't be here to process payments for people. That is fucking so smart and so cool that they added that in here. I love that. I really do love that a lot. That's so fucking gorgeous.
No. Hey guys, I'm a dragon. <laughs> my name's fucking Mjolnir. Oh my god, I can make a puppet. This isn't even really fair. Yeah. Didn't really. Didn't really stand a chance there, buddy. Sorry. Help me unwind at the end of the day. Would you like a drink? Nobody trusts them. That is fucked up. Matter of fact, I do. Me too. They've been fair enough with me, far as I can yeah. tell. And Denord knows a liar when she sees one. All right. What are we doing today? <gasps> We're buying a home. We're buying a fucking home. Okay. Splendid. There's a house available right now. I'll take Wonderful. it. Here's the key to your new home. <sighs> That's not Enjoy good. Visit to Dragon's Reach. Yeah, I still have seven grand. Uh, so that's not working the for some reason. Is more. The house I mentioned earlier is still available if you want to buy it. I'll Wonderful. take it. Here's the key to your new home. The house I mentioned earlier is still a bit wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. What the fuck? The house I mentioned earlier is still a very well. Just let me know. The house I mentioned earlier is, is the house not available on VR? I don't get it. Man, I'm about to get fucking pissed if I'm gonna have to go do a mission for a different Jarl. I mean, I've done everything for Whiterun. I've given this town my everything. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. If there's any more I can help you with. This is fucked up, man. I spent a lot of time accumulating dosh for this. I deserve this home. I think Proud Spire is like fucking twenty thousand dollars. The There's the Markarth home. The Markarth home is really nice. Where do you want to go? Sit back and enjoy the ride. <sighs> fucking bullshit. Oh! Oh no! Oh shit! He just fucking ran those people over, man. I didn't know Caitlyn Jenner was driving the carriage. Holy shit! <gasps> okay. I just got the the Mark Hearth house. I kind of just fucked up and I apologize. I should have gone to White Run to do this, but there's a console command that I think if you use it, the hold that you're in, it automatically like force pays for it. And then you have the house and the ability to change the stuff that's in it as well. So I think I have the Mark Hearth house and I was supposed to do that. See, look, I have 134 gold now. Kida, Vlindrel, and Markarth home decorating guide. I mean, that was my bad. I, I just, I kind of fucked that up. I should have done that for Bree's home, but I had the eight grand to do it. Now, originally I was going to just play the game until the Jarl trusted me enough to sell me the, the property. You can't do that until level 20 though, apparently. Like there's a mission that you get to go get a fucking stupid shield that you get at level 20. Plus you have to do five errands for other people as well. With how much I did in white run and just in an attempt to get where I need to go in this game, I paid the eight grand for it. I'm going to say that it's fine. I hope you guys won't be upset about that. Um, I hope you'll be cool with that, but let's, let's see the new home. This is what I've worked so fucking hard for all goddamn day. And it's covered, it's like absolutely covered in cobwebs. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks like shit. We can, I can peek and shoot. Oh, one more hit. But then I can hide as well. Okay, she's dead, thank God, cause I'm running low on HP. Oh, you're nothing, bro, come here. I will not feel death embrace today. Uh, uh, uh. So now's the moment of truth to see if this dickhead will actually take my money for these upgrades. So we're gonna furnish the living room and bedrooms and then we're gonna get a kid's room. 
And if we have money left over, we'll, we'll go from there. As well as it. I'll be glad. And of course, don't forget to... Now, what would you like to purchase? Um, living room furnishings well. first. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. It didn't there. take the fucking money. Of course. Now, what would you like to purchase? You son of a bitch. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. I'll be glad. And of course. Now, what would you like to purchase? This is Very so well. fucked up. I'll make Listen, people. I did what I could. All right. I'm going to try to explain this while I feed my cord back through my back, but I tried to do what I could. I mean, I I tried looking up mods that would just let me edit the homes from the inside and I couldn't find any mods for it. I tried finding uh, player home mods, but this is Skyrim VR, so it's like, how do you know which player home mods are good or applicable at all? And I don't know. All I wanted at the end of the day was to live the trad life of Skyrim VR. I wanted to get married. I wanted to have a kid. And I wanted to be able to relax in my home and grow old and fucking die. But none of that is working and it's so frustrating. What makes me upset like more than anything is that this is a problem that people had for just Skyrim VR. Nothing to do with any of the mods that I have downloaded. I have no player home mods that could have interfered with that. This is a Skyrim software issue, a Skyrim VR software issue that I'm having. And it's so fitting that it's pouring fucking rain whenever everything I worked so hard for is just coming down around me, like the rain on the ground. You know, and I'm just... Sorry. I'm just upset. It kind of feels like this was all for naught. Like I did all of this for nothing. Yeah. What'd you think of that? I'm not in the fucking... I'm not in the... I'm not in the mood, Nazim. <laughs> this has been... A long time coming. Come on. Come on. Put him up. Come on. Put him up. Put him up, Nazim. Oh, she, he's dead. Whoa. Okay. I did not mean for him to die. That was, that was her. That, the, the house Carl. I just wanted to give him a whack in the face. I just wanted to box up his face a little bit. Listen, man. You got this all wrong. This is not what I imagined. I just wanted to have a nice home. I wanted to get married. Yasolda, she's right over there. Yasolda, Yasolda, come here. Tell them I'm a good guy. Tell them I'm a good person, please. All I wanted was to get married to you and have a home. You, this is your fault. You killed him. I was just gonna punch him. You murdered him with that incredibly powerful sharpened weapon that I smithed with my bare hands. I don't love you anymore. I've only loved you, Solda. Get the fuck out of here. Take me You're to jail, to coppers. Right. You son of a bitch. Let me out of here. I'm innocent. I've been framed. It was Lydia. She should be. Lydia should actually be the one in here dealing the. doing the fucking time, not me. Oh, what the fuck? What is that? Is that- what is that down here? Is this a fucking shank? Is that what happened? Was this person shivved? Was their fucking throat cut open? Was I the one who did it? How long have I been in here? How long have I been in this cell? Was he my friend? Was he my lover? No! I'm not going crazy. You're going crazy. God, come here. Just get close. Just get close enough for me to wring your fucking neck. You son of a bitch. I wanted to be a productive member 
of white run i wanted to do good i farmed i cut the wood i cleared the bandits from the area what more did you want from me people what more did i need to do to earn that home how many mods must i download todd howard to get your game to function all right white run it is time for you to pay the price you denizens of white run will pay the price for todd howard's raising where's all my shit where the fuck is all my stuff let me do this unseen There is fucking, you know what? This is your fucking fault. This is all your fault. After what you did to the Zim, I'm gonna piece you up. And you know what? What are you doing? I don't have to put doing? up with it anymore. Go. I've got your back. I'll head back home if you need me. No, you're gonna leave. Forever of a bitch. Hey. hey. We the dragon once we can do it again. Listen. We This man said we killed a dragon once we'll do it again. You didn't kill anything. You did nothing. Is that the fucking narrative that's being pushed? I know what it is. The Jarl doesn't want everybody to know that his Thane is the one that killed the dragon and he's in here slumming it in the dungeons. The Jarl doesn't want to smear his good name. That's what it is. I don't have to put up with this. And everybody in Whiterun is going to pay the price. Where does your soul to go at night when she's had her drink? Hmm. You live in the poor district, huh? Why do you stay here in this town full of putrid humans? You could do so much better for yourself. We could go anywhere. We could do anything, sweet Yasoda. And I have finally found our residence. Oh, what's that? I hear? Ooh, is she taking a shower? Oh. Oh dear god, okay, we're just gonna give her a couple minutes to sort that out. How soundly you sleep. What is it that you dream of, my love? Is it of me? Is it of better times? Let me hold your hand in my hands once more. Oh. I don't know how you're sleeping after I'm pulling your corpse from the fucking pillow right now, but oh my god, hold on. <laughs> Diamond in the rough. Oh. Oh, the fear. <laughs> no, you're pretending to sleep. I know you're not actually asleep, Yasolda. Good to have you by my side, friend. I need reliable people. I'm your friend, huh? It's good for me to be by your side, huh? Never is. If we're such good friends, hold on, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. If we're such good friends, where were you when they dragged me down to the dungeons? Where were you when they arraigned me for Nazim's killing? When it was obviously fucking Lydia. Okay, where were you? Where were you when they stripped me of all titles, gear, weapons, pride, all of it? Where were you? Man approaches with his weapon drawn. <sighs> little do you know. This is the last time in your life you'll ever get nervous. Copper! <laughs> get fucked, kid. Oh, what's that? You wanna fight back, you sons of bitches? You're gonna have to fucking take me out. <laughs> I brought the blicky. Yeah, that's right. 
I brought that motherfucking thing. There we go. Come on, reload, reload. You know what, Lydia? I'm ready to make amends. <laughs> Where is she? Ah, there you Honored are. To see you again, my Fane. I used to come in here and I would sit up there and I would just listen to the music and I would say nothing. I would just enjoy myself. I'd have a good time. You only know two songs. Now this stuff I have been saving yes. for a while. This ain't your run of the mill. Nord Mead, Blackbriar Mead, Maven Blackbriar, Haunting Brand oh, Meadery. No one gives a shit Need something? in the face of this absolute gas right here. It's literally gasoline. Yes. Moon sugar and gasoline. I'm gonna fucking hit this shit right now. Hang on. Hmm? Oh. Oh, that feels really good. That's good. Take a fucking rip off this shit. Come on, rip this shit. Don't be a fucking coward. You don't want to party? You don't like to party? Come on. It's not habit forming, okay? It helps me eat. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna give you guys a really, really good song. Just you wait, hold on. Bring me my loot. Mister, could you spare a coin? Commander Caius. <laughs> walks around. Den in 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 piss. Den in it in your own blood. Call it piss blood. Den in it in in Piss blood. Den in it in 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 Why is my cum always red? Blood in my cum. I saved all of you from a fucking dragon. Okay. There once was a hero named CJ the Brave. He rode into town and killed a dragon. And he chopped a lot of wood and smithed a lot of weapons. And then one day he tried to buy a house after they said he could buy a house But then the god Todd Howard wouldn't let him get the house or any of the upgrades So he tried to use mods and console commands and it didn't work Nothing worked at all And so he went to Whiterun to air his grievances And was framed for, a mur for as a murderer from Lydia the cold bitch And now Lydia the cold bitch is as cold as ice Because I fucking iced her in Feindall's house. This is an admission of guilt. This is no longer a song. All I have left is is shooty. All I have left is my gat and this nice cold ground, so I'm headed to bed and I'm saying goodbye to Skyrim VR for the last time. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun, so just make a place here on the on the ground for me. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that actually. Yeah, here we'll just sleep on the gun. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, that actually that wasn't what I thought that was gonna do. I was trying to put it up. I was trying to put the gun up. And uh, all right. Sweet dreams. Thank